Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to use Zoho Forms. It's a very efficient and, and great form creation tool. It's very similar to the likes of Google Forms and Microsoft Forms. However, in my opinion, it's a lot better and more customizable. Now, I've already created an account, so I'm able to access it immediately. An account is free to create. And I recommend if you haven't created an account, use the link in the description. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to zoho.com forward slash forms. It's very simple. Now, you can just head to zoho.com and browse their products and it will you'll be able to find forms right immediately under sales, just over here. So let's go through and access Zoho forms. So I haven't used forms yet on this account, so you'll be seeing exactly what it takes to get started. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Now what we're going to do is we're going to want to create our first form. Now there's two options. What you can do, you can create a, a card form or a standard form. In this video I'm going to use a standard form. Now a card form is very similar to type form if you've ever used it. Now a card form, all it is, all it means is users will be shown questions individually rather than as one large form if that makes any sense. So once they're finished completing another question, as you can see in this small animation, they'll be taken to the next one and the next one and the next one. Whereas on standard, you're able to scroll through and view everything at once. In my opinion, standard is much better. So let's call this one um, form one. Now, before I go through, there are templates you can use. So, you know, if you see bug tracker, client details, complaints, contact us, it really there's there's so much and you can see these are pre-built with fonts with colors and everything and so I think they're great there's lead generation there's there are so many different types you know school application forms scholarship application forms and whatnot there really is there really is a lot you can use so I recommend if you don't want to complicate it um, what you can do is you can just use one of these templates but for the sake of this video I'm gonna create one from scratch so, um, I'm going to call this uh, standard form one. So, we'll click create. Now, there's loads of features, so I'm not going to be able to run through all of them in this video. However, we'll create a standard form. Um, this form I'm going to create is going to just be a very simple um, contact us form. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm going to create a... I'm going to create a... Um, product request form um, so as you can see here on the left here we have basic and advanced fields now these are all different things that you can drag into um, the form builder itself so for instance one of the first things you are going to want to get in a form is someone's name so one of the first things I'll do is I'll drag the name box so it's going to collect their first and last name um, I'm going to also need their phone number so um, now this actually, sorry, I this is just a number field. Um, so instead, I'm going to delete this field over here. Oh, is it going to let me? I'm going to delete it, and I'm going to put their phone number field down there. Um, I want to know what the date of them filling this form was, so I'm also going to put the date there too. Now, obviously, you might be thinking, where are the questions? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put single line over. Oops. Sorry about that. Um, you might be thinking, where are the questions? Well, this is the thing. You can edit the actual form labels themselves. So, for instance, for name, I can say, please enter your um, your name very simple I can decide if I want this to be a large field a small a medium um, I can show a title I can even show a middle name and if you want if you want users to fill this out if you want them to if you want them to be obliged to fill this out you can click these boxes here which make it a mandatory field now this is important and this applies to every single field that you see here if you'd like it to be mandatory um, just click on the actual field itself and then click mandatory so I'm going to save that you can see now it says please enter your name you can there's titles um, obviously if I go to select it 
Um, it's not going to show me as it would a user, but if you click that as a user, the titles will be Mr, Sir, Doctor, whatever. Phone, I'm going to say please enter your phone number. Please enter the phone number associated with um, associated with your account. Let me correct my spelling over there. And I want this to be mandatory as well um, because, you know, it's important. So I'm going to put mandatory. Um, I can also, because it's a phone number, I don't want people to put, you know, letters in there. So I'm going to put allow only numbers. And um, yeah, so let's save that. Um, the date, I can edit this and call it, um, um, uh, please enter the date of which you are filling out this form. Now I will, I will let you know that although I am saying please enter the date of which you're filling out this form, you will be notified exactly immediately as soon as the user clicks submit. So um, don't let that question fool you. Now these are very simple questions so we're going to go into something a bit more um, confusing maybe. So um, let's do a decision box. Now, if we go into the properties of the decision box, um, we can say, so we're going to call it, um, do you require a special access? Do you require special access? Um, please only check if you do and um, we're going to make this mandatory now you can set the initial state so it's already pre-selected so it will already stay up as check you might be able to see it in the background but i'm going to um, set it as uh, unchecked as the pre as the initial state and obviously mandatory again and here you go so do you require special access and you can see that the instructions box showed uh has put it you know in 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 gray italics under uh whether people want you know special access or not and then final so there's loads of different things you can do you know you can do multiple choice questions um, where you can edit the choices in properties you can edit the first choice the second choice and the third choice and you can add multiple choices you can even import choices there really is truly so much to do if you have a look in the advanced fields as well if you've set up payments in Zoho you can accept payments in the form you can add links to terms and conditions. You can add choices for images. There really is a lot. You can even add ratings so users can rate what they think of your form. So now that this form is complete, what we can do is we can have a look at maybe some, some rules to set. Um, we can configure some field rules. We can configure some form rules. Now, rules essentially, um, they are they are what, you know, what it says on the tin. Um, so for instance if so for instance in my first field it says please enter your name i can say if the name contains john um i can redirect the user to a, to another page or i can redirect them to another um another form i can redirect them to another question now this is quite useful because there may be certain things that people are filling your form out that you may want them to be redirected to other points if that makes any sense um, so yeah we're gonna exit we're not really gonna set up any rules um, if you have a look in settings you can edit your thank you page you can edit the date and time you can change your branding you can even set this on your own domain um, and then obviously in themes too you can change what it looks like and whatnot but we're gonna keep ours basic so we're gonna go back to the builder and um, we're going to go to access form and there we go so what you can do now with this link is send this to any user so I'm going to go into an incognito window and I'm going to go to this form oops um, so you can send this form to any user this is what it so sorry when you click access form this is what it's going to show you um, uh, this is what it looks like as a user um, so you can see you know and whatnot um, however now if you'd like to have a look at all of your entries for instance if anyone's filled it out you'll see it over here you can add reports for it but we'll go back to the form 
and we'll go back to our standard form and now what we want to do is we can mail it to people or we can do a quick share now a quick share is gonna create a permalink and what this is is essentially a link for users to uh, be able to access it so we'll go back to our incognito and we'll go here and there you go it doesn't require any sign in I'm gonna quickly fill this in oh gosh I'm just gonna put some zeros I'm gonna put that there five stars I do require special access and I'm gonna submit that oops I forgot to set a title error has occurred I haven't verified your email yet <laughs> that's interesting so if I haven't ver if you haven't verified your email um, as a Zoho Forms member your Zoho Forms will not work so ensure that your email is verified however once I click submit you'll be able to see um, in the my form section you go back to your form um, and you can click all entries or analytics and then over here you'll see all of the responses individually to your form um, thank you very much for watching this video hopefully you understand it a bit more how to use Zoho Forms um and uh yeah if you'd like to sign up to zoho remember please use the link in the description it helps me out and um it's definitely much better than just going to the site so uh, yeah thank you very much see you in another video